Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini Intruders, and welcome back to the moderately confusing Virginia. Last time, I don't even bloody know. We're FBI agents investigating a missing boy, but like, stuff keeps happening, and we keep teleporting from scene to scene, and I've just realised just how weird this is, which this is a game that doesn't have any speech, and no text at all aside from the odd file, but um, there's a woman here in front of a microphone, but she can't sing, because nobody sings, because there's no words in this game. So that's all very odd. Also, I believe your guitar doesn't have any strings. Yep, his guitar doesn't have any strings. Your singer doesn't have a voice. And I'd be willing to bet money your keyboard doesn't have any flipping keys. But then again, this guy I think is pretending to hold a glass, but he isn't actually holding one. So he's got his own problems, to be honest. Oh, the guy who was pretending to have a drink has come over to be leery at me. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. There we are. Now I've put, I've put Maria Halperin's ring on. Oh, is that so I can pretend I'm married? What if she needs to pretend she's married? What if she needs the ring? Is this, is this a, wait, is that just a thing that I've no clue? And now she's highlighted in red. Ten quid says I'm going to look in a direction in a second and the symbolism bison is going to be here. Because the symbolism bison normally shows up at times like this. No, no bison just yet. Oh, we're finally going to open the mysterious yellow box from last time. This is what we got out of the yellow priest. Ah! The yellow priest's box has a dead bird. The same dead bird that we found in the cave that may or may not have been released in a dream sequence. He then killed, and now we're having a drunken dance. Though I swear there was also some film in there. And the film is kind of important, because the film is probably what the kid was taking photos of. Apparently I can take the tops off beer with my bare hand. So that's good. Where are we right now, by the way? We are... Up in the... Are we at the top of the observatory? Wait, how did we get up here? We were down at the bar. Did we just drunk drive back up to the observatory? Possibly. I guess. Maybe I should drink some beer. Yeah, drink some beer. Keep getting wasted despite the fact we've just found the only decent clue we have. Welcome to Thursday and I am waking up... Somewhere... In... Bear... But, well, on the plus side, we decided not to spend three hours drunk driving back to Washington, D.C. for once, so that's good. Or maybe I've ended up... Oh, dear. Right. Secret room locked with a padlock. That's never good. Right, find myself a key. Well, I've looked around as thorough as I can, and I can't actually find a key. So I guess instead we're just going to break into someone else's apartment. Maybe one of them will have a key. Is this a house rather than a... An apartment? No, this is a room that... Ah, presumably this could be... If we're in Maria's flat or house, this could be where Judith Ortega passed away because potentially she might be dead by now. And then some... Ah, dead flowers. I probably shouldn't be in here. I feel like this is a room I'm not supposed to be in, to be honest. Keep looking around for that key, by the way. We might still be able to find that key. Over into the bathroom. Yep, I'm still definitely myself. That's good. And yeah, again, signs that a house was uh, kind of adjusted to suit an elderly or otherwise infirm person living here. Presumably, hello. Oh, Marie gives me a happy wave while making pancakes for me. Good. Our relationship has indeed improved significantly. And I shall sit down and help myself to, oh, French toast, bacon, sausages, full English. That's exactly what I need to do with my hangover. Oh, and more eggs as well. Marvellous. Maria Halperin, I am coming round to you. Oh, I even get the bigger fried egg. Lovely. Yeah, that's right. The film. Remember the film, which is blatantly the film that the guy took that we totally should be developing as a matter of priority because that's clearly, like, you know, the last things he took photographs of and that his own father, the creepy priest, who's had some form of dispute with his wife, was trying to hide from us. Yes, we should definitely be looking at these. Now, put the photo into the water, which is how you make photos, I guess. I never really did photography at the age when this sort of a thing was necessary. I just had those crappy little, like, you know, instant cameras that you just basically used once and then turned into the pharmacy. Turned them into boots, and then you just got some snaps later. The, uh, the old kind of Kodak, the Kodak kind of used once, then throwaway cameras. I always used to take those on holiday, and then at that point, like, the first digital cameras started coming in. So I never really did, like, proper photography. But instead, let's take the photograph I've just made. So I'm guessing my photograph's going to be the important one. And the photograph, it like all photographs up. 
and it's going to show us the murderer, hopefully. Chains? Those are chains, right? Was that chains? That wasn't that helpful. Let's do that to a different photo. Or possibly I need to show my photo to her because my photo is really important. No, my photo is useless. Her photo is better. Her photo is... I've literally no clue. Oh, well, pff, we've arrested the guy who I said it was blatantly going to be, so that's nice. Can we take a close look at that photo? Because I have no idea what that is. No, don't take that off. He's blatantly the guy that did it. Because he's the only distinctive person in the entire game. Right, let's have a little look-see here. I need to look at this photo. I can't, I literally don't know what, hang on, I'm just going to get close to my screen. Now I've peered right into the screen, I have literally no idea what that photo's of. It looks like one person hugging another, but I'm not sure on what basis we'd have arrested him for that. I genuinely don't know. Did we just let him go? Oh, are we letting him go? Did we decide to let him go? Was the questioning insufficient? Is he walking out? Are they going to be happy with each other? We should... Oh, oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, she slapped him before and she slapped him again. There's definitely some trouble there. I still think he did it. We might have enough evidence to hold him, Chief, but I know he did it. Let me follow up on this one. And uh, no. Shaky head... Wait. Who are you interviewing? I don't know who that was. Was that... Was that the same woman as was in the house at the beginning of the game? Possibly. Was he having a... Did we arrest him because he was having an affair? Why would we handcuff him for that? Well, I guess there are still parts of America where, like, adultery is actually a, a crime. As I understand, there's still parts of America where adultery is like a felony or something, which is crazy. So, yeah, we've got those photos there. That I don't know exactly what they are. I'm just going to drink my coffee. So, if I drink my coffee, maybe the game will tell me what the heck's actually going on here. Yep. Greetings from Kingdom. That's a chain. Chains, yeah. And, and the chains are... A... Chain? Yeah, that's right. We should we should go and find the, the chain. Okay. We found the chain. That's that's good. So we know he, he went here. Oh, hang on. The must might actually give us some flipping information about what's going... No, don't turn the page. I haven't read that yet. I wanted to zoom in. The game's really inconsistent about when you click on something that you're reading, whether it means zoom in slightly, which it did during the we were looking at the uh, the newspaper clippings, or whether it means move on. That's incredibly inconsistent and there's no way to go back once you've done something. Right, so are we actually, are we staking out a statue right now to see if the statue does anything suspicious? Because I feel like it's not going to, to be honest. Now we're going to eat the sandwich. Yep. E oh, that's a good filled sandwich. That's good. Keep on eating the sandwich. Yep. And now it's dusk. The statue still hasn't done anything remotely suspicious. And, ah, this is more interesting. The guy who wants to be the mayor of the Netherlands is heading up towards the observatory. Let's follow him. He'll totally see this, by the way. It's still like, you know, there's still quite bright sunlight at the minute. And there's only one car on the road. If he just glances in his mirror, he will blatantly see he's being followed. This is not subtle in the slightest. Excuse me, we're the flipping FBI. We can go where we flipping want. There's no such thing as a private event from the FBI, right? You can't just do that, can you? That feels wrong. Oh, wait, is this the old we need a warrant situation? Yeah, I think we possibly need a warrant. Damn, we should have brought Cole McAmerican with us. He could have given us a warrant. All right, topping up the car's gas. Shove the thing back over there. Probably get back in the car. Lovely, you're just getting us. Did you just buy us a big cuddly bison? Why did you just get a big cuddly bison? Maria Halperin, why have you just bought a big... What? Did you just get me a big cuddly bison as a present? Oh, and now she's going to realise that I'm probably spying on her. No, you don't just open up random files from someone else's bag. You don't. You just don't. Like, in general, but in the FBI in particular. Oh, Maria Halpern. Oh, she's about to drive off without me. Is she? Oh, I'm in the doghouse. Because if it takes three hours to drive back from Virginia, I imagine it would take a lot longer to walk. 
Look, Maria Halperin, I'm sorry. I know I was originally only interested in you because your sister's only allowed to go to prom if you're allowed to go to prom, and that's why I decided to date you. But actually, I've decided I've fallen in love with you in the meantime, and I can prove it to you through some form of song and dance routine that I'm assuming is going to be the finale of this game. Also, yes, we know she lives down in the basement. We could just skip this bit. Just take me straight to the office, please. Come on, Maria, we need to work together to solve this crime and make sure that that ginger bastard goes to prison for a long, long time. Am I just breaking into her office now? Oh, go on. And then, oh, okay. Now I'm back being handed my FBI thing again. Hello. Yep, yep. Give me the FBI thing again. Lovely. Shaky handy. FBI badgie again. Yep, we're back here. Oh, we're going to get the heart rate monitor again. Am I still in a coma? Because there was a coma noise last time I was here. And now literally everyone's here for the dream sequence. Yep, lovely. Toss me a thing. I'm going to open it up. Is it going to tell me that I'm actually a traitor or something? No, it was the same thing again. But again, I didn't have time to flipping read it. But it said I've been tasked with monitoring. So I'm guessing I've been tasked with monitoring this woman. Oh, it's the symbolism bison. I like the symbolism bison. Hello. I'm going to give you... Ooh. The symbolism bison has brought me a present. The dead bird. It's all about the dead... Oh, maybe it's not... No, maybe it's about the locket or the symbolism ball. Who knows? And now it's Friday. I don't know where I slept. Let's figure out where I'm about to wake up. I just slept in the diner. Got it. Oh, now I don't have anyone to have coffee with. I wonder where Maria Halperin went. Also, I'm not sure Maria Halperin is just allowed to just like straight up abandon me like this. Like, Maria Halperin works for the FBI. So do I. We're both literally on the clock and being paid right now. She can't just wander off and abandon me. That's somewhere between a professional misdemeanor and a crime, surely. Right, yeah, stop here. In literally the middle of nowhere. And now go away. And uh, and t turn around. And now I'm going back to the cave. Okay, where Maria Halperin has come to cry. Because of... Oh, no, am I going to try... Oh... I'm going to go and get her locket back, and that's going to convince her that I care about her after all, and that's the most ridiculous thing imaginable, but that's what we're flipping doing now, isn't it? Right, over the top we go, and where is the locket? By any chance did it happen to get itself, like, caught right on the edge of this convenient tree? Because that'd be great if so. Also, I'm hanging over a very, very long drop by the looks of things. Aha! I've also discovered a secret tunnel. Very convenient secret. Oh, uh-oh. I'm about to fall into the secret tunnel then. Well, I didn't get Maria's locket back, but I tried. And now I'm guessing some form of amazing secret is actually in here as well. Though before we go into the secret tunnel, just quickly check around, because there's a very real possibility the locket might have fallen all the way down here. That is just a flower. So that is not the locket, but now I've got the flower to go with my feather. So I've got some nice kind of little souvenirs, even if I don't solve the case. And into the sewer we go. The sewer where hopefully the bison of symbolism is... Oh! Maybe I'm asleep this whole time. Because the massive red light that only happens when I'm asleep just happened. Or maybe I'm unconscious right now, or maybe not. Maybe I'm just losing it. And through we go to the great of symbolism and the... Wait, where am I right now? I don't know where I am right now and I can't get through here. But luckily, I can use my FBI skills to kick this iron grate literally off its hinges. Good, good. And I suspect somehow I've just found my way down to her locket, which will also give me the answer to the crime somehow or other, which is nice. Yep, there's the locket. Do we want to open it to check that, like, Judith Ortega's thing is there? Nope, no, we don't want to. Instead, we probably just want to give it back to Maria. And that means she'll know that we love her, really. And any minute now, she'll be popping in. Or, no, actually, I've just apparently spent the day getting drunk in a bar. I'm the worst FBI agent. Damn it, Maria! I know how it all fits together! The locket, your mother, the bison, everything! Miss Judith Ortega. Okay, so her mother's old house, where presumably maybe she still lives, if Judith Ortega passed away not that long ago. Oh, ah, luckily you gave me the lockpicking gun, didn't you? Shouldn't have given me that. I am in fact so flipping keen to make it up to you, I'm going to break into your dead mother's house to do it. This is bound to work. 
Right, well I guess we're going to go and check out that padlocked room now that I've got the magical lockpicking gun with me and I'm guessing I'm determined to use it because Maria Halperin had a, a dreadful secret or something. There we are. Just, yeah, just deal with this. It's fine. Just break it off with something. There we are. Lockpick away. Beautiful. Now what was in the secret room in Maria Halperin's house? It was lots of recording equipment. Okay, this vaguely makes sense. We know that Judith Ortega was kind of, you know, assigned to different duties. So this would presumably have been her office, I suppose. This all makes reasonable amounts of sense. So there was definitely some files over there. Some slightly weird stuff over here. And also, ah, conspiracy. She was obsessed with a conspiracy which possibly I'm about to start believing in. So there's a guy. I wish I knew who that was, but everyone in this game looks very similar, so it's hard to tell. He kind of looks like the guy who drunkenly came onto me at the bar at the end of the last part, but I really can't be sure. Yep, those are some FBI files that I'm guessing aren't supposed to be here. Internal investigation. And, and now I'm sitting outside the assistant director's office. No. No, I couldn't go in, or if I did, he broke my fingers. Because I'm really worried about my fingers. And now I'm some- <laughs> What the hell is going on in this game? And now I'm somewhere else and I've still got the locket. I really need to find Maria Halperin to return the locket to her. And also possibly let her know that I broke into her dead mother's study in order to steal her stuff. To hand it over to someone else. Possibly the assistant director of the FBI who broke my fingers as a consequence. Also, am I still wearing the ring she gave me? No, I must have given that back to her at least. That's good. Also, this woman really turns her head weirdly. If you, like, want to turn to the left, your head kind of ends up at a really weird angle. Okay, yeah, there's the locket, which I got back, which I'm going to give back to her. But if I try and turn right, then I automatically... Oh, no, I can't turn anymore. And now I'm climbing up the... Am I climbing up to the top of the observatory? I think I'm climbing up to the top of the observatory, and I don't know why... Do I know Maria's going to be here? Was this her favourite place in all of Kingdom? Why on earth am I up here? Yeah, this is where we got drunk. Oh, apparently I know you're up here. Hello. I'm going to give you the locket back. And that's going to make you forgive me. Might not make you forgive me for the whole breaking and entering of your mother's house. But possibly it will. No, 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 no. Look. And I've got you a file that may or may not be of interest to you. And also a locket. And... I decided to throw away the internal... Okay, so that was my internal investigation into her, which I decided to throw away, which was an even worse idea, because now literally anyone could get hold of it. Now, she's going to give me the envelope with the SIM card in it. Yeah, that's that's fine. So, that, that's the SIM card, which I put in the envelope. So, how did that get out of the... And, and then I've got a key... Which, which I put down at the same time as the envelope at one point when I was going to bed. And then, the, what, um, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. And, yeah, I feel like those are confidential papers we shouldn't just leave for literally everyone. Now it's Saturday. Do FBI agents get Saturday off? Oh, it's the final day. Apparently, there were only six days to solve the investigation before the moon crashed into the Earth. And I'm still holding that thing, and I don't know what it bloody is. And now, Corey McAmerican has caught up with me. Although this is probably a dream, because generally when he shows up, that's what it is. Hello, I am still a special agent. Maybe you just occasionally break into my room at night. Who knows? You know, maybe we could have solved this case more quickly if we didn't have to do the six-hour round trip to my home every single day. And now someone's really urgently coming to the door... That, that's fine. It's probably the symbolism, Bison. Yes, I'm coming. Goodness sake. Wait, hang on. Before I answer the door... No, the Bison's not here. Fine. Open up the door. And... It's literally everyone. Well, I probably shouldn't have done the thing where I threw away all the incredibly confidential papers, should I? Also, hang on. If... If you came to arrest me at my apartment... And now the local law enforcement that guy's here, that would presumably mean that, yeah, you've actually brought me to Virginia to throw me in jail. Which I guess if I've committed a crime in Virginia makes sense. I just wish I knew what crime I'd committed in Virginia. What, what crime have I committed in Virginia? I don't know, but apparently you've committed one too. Or this is possibly a flipping dream. What, what have you or I done? I generally don't know. Was it that we murdered that red bird? 
Was was he the real victim all along? Are you a witch? Did you turn the boy into the bird? Could that explain everything? I don't know. I'm not sure anything can explain everything. I don't know what's happening, though it feels like this is actually real, which is confusing, because I'm not quite sure what exactly me or Maria have done that's wrong. I mean, I feel like Maria was doing something wrong, and maybe she's been arrested for whatever she was doing wrong, and I've been arrested for not turning her in. I'm not sure why I didn't, but okay. Apparently, I just really value the friendship of this woman who we locked in the basement and previously, before five days ago, I've never visited before. Excuse me, I'd like someone to tell me I have the right to remain silent. I know literally everyone remains silent all the time, but I'd still like to be told it. Apparently, I can just knock on the door and I'll be allowed out any time I want. Oh! Well, that was easy. Is that how the FBI works? You can just say, okay, I know you've got me and I'm in prison, but excuse me, I outrank you, so please let me out. Now I'm back here... And you came to my house and threw me in prison, or possibly you didn't. That might have been a dream. God only knows, quite frankly. I'm really annoyed about this. Also, that's the exact same file I threw to the wind earlier. So, how do I have it now? Because that, that was also the internal investigation. Into... Oh, unless that's a different one. Did I go down off the top of the observatory and then, like, regather those papers together? And then turn the papers in? Because I was scared that I would be sent to prison if I also I'm now unpacking not packing up I assumed I'd just been fired but apparently I'm not I'm taking my stuff out of a box not putting it in hello are you my new friend okay now I'm back in my oh god I'm so confused and it's the future I think because there's now what looks like a more modern hi-fi stereo hello is this Maria Halperin to me and her have poker nights now. No, it's this guy. He's brought me a cactus. Right. So now I'm having a poker night with the boys, which is good. Don't know how to play poker, so I'm not sure if that's a good hand or not. But he seems pretty confident in what he's doing. I'm going to eat some chips. There we are, good old chips. Now I'm being handed this. Yes. And, oh dear, I've been told to keep an eye on him. Right. So basically, I got Maria fired, and now I've got that guy fired. Oh, is that what my job basically is? Because I'm a black woman in the FBI, they basically get me to befriend all the other ethnic minority people, and then I basically am tasked with getting them fired by gathering evidence on them. And apparently, I always do, because it would appear that though I kind of dreamed about throwing the stuff away, that I was like, you know, I dreamed of throwing the papers away and helping Maria, it would appear I didn't, because I've not been fired, I just apparently need to keep doing this over and over again. And now, time is moving forward, now there's lots of projectors, and I just apparently keep doing this over and over again. Oh, I'm a supervisor! Okay, fine, maybe I've become a depressed pill-popping lunatic, but I have got an office with a window, so that makes it all... Oh, Deputy Assistant Director. Nice. Just keep on putting on the lipstick. Nice. And in case you're putting your finger through your own lip, too. And I have... Oh, I have become the director of the FBI or something, which is unfortunate, because literally the only thing I was ever good at was getting rid of other FBI agents who happened to be ethnic minorities, I think, all of them. So, you're not gonna last, because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be Far East Asian. I'm gonna shake your hand now, and then in a sting operation in a few months' time, I'm going to get rid of you. Lovely. And now I'm tossing her that thing where I'm pretty sure I just told her to go and spy on a black guy or something, which is, I think, what's going on. So now I'm gonna make someone else do it. Yes, yeah, she now looks mildly surprised, so that's probably her job. Lovely. Oh, and I get to smoke inside, which I shouldn't do, because that's bad for my health and it will kind of stain the walls and stuff. But apparently I've become director and there is... Oh, yeah, did we never actually bother solving that whole missing guy? No, we never actually bothered solving that case. Fine. No, apparently all of that was a flash forward to how I feared my life would go if I had betrayed Maria Halperin. But... I haven't, because instead I'm in prison still, and I've given her back the locket. Because I just had a terrible flash forward to a life of 
professional success, but immoral professional success. So I've decided not to do all of that stuff I dreamed might theoretically happen. Instead, I'm probably just going to magic some lipstick out of my arse and do that, because that's what I always do at times like this. No. Oh, there it is. There's the SIM card. Yep. And now I just need to find a phone to put that in, and then I can make a call to my lawyer. And... I can... Oh. Was that drugs? Is that what that was? Oh. Oh, dear. Why would I decide now is the right time to do drugs if that was drugs? Right, grab that. Put it back in the wall. Okay. Back in the wall. Yep, lovely. Hello? Is the symbolism bison over there? Yep, the symbolism bison is possibly trying to break through the wall right now. Through we go. In we go. Did I just... Did I just commit suicide? W was it poison? I don't, I don't think so. I've certainly just done something that's made me have a bit of a hallucination. Or maybe that was the hallucination. Maybe, as I said at the beginning, I've been in a coma the whole time. And now I'm... Now the sky's going a bit weird and we're back at the cave. Right. Now, if that was hardcore drugs all along, that like the sort of drugs that I don't know, I don't do drugs, I've no idea how drugs work. Uh, but like, I, I, I've kind of picked up from films like some drugs you like, you put them on like your inside lip or your tongue or something, and, and that's how you do the drugs. But on, on this occasion, like if I knew that was drugs all along, why did I keep one in a in an envelope unless I was a recreational drug user? All along or something. Anyway, down, now we're down in the mine, except this is almost certainly a hallucination. And this used to just be a cupboard, but now I can go further in. This is where we found the dead red bird, and I've no idea what that meant. And there's just light leading me further into the cave. I'm guessing maybe we'll find the boy? Maybe it was the big giant head that did it. Who knows? Hello, big giant head. Have you stolen a boy by any chance? Is he inside your mouth? No. All right, then. And down we go, deeper and deeper. But now something's blocking the way. All right, through here. Hello, jump down deeper into the cave, because obviously this isn't actually happening. Well, probably not. I think the real version of events is I'm actually in prison still. And this is... Okay, that's the door that leads me back into my dream bedroom. Symbolism Bison. Oh, I miss the Symbolism Bison. I wish he'd show up about now. He seemed cuddly. I'd like to give the Symbolism Bison a hug, because, like, he looked really fluffy. You'd think he'd be warm and nice to hug. And now we're in the Church of Symbolism. Possibly this is supposed to look a bit like the corridor in the Ginger Priest's house. Go into the room at the end. Hello there. Glad to join the cult. Very pleased. Oh, it is! It's the Symbolism Bison! I love the Symbolism Bison! Hello there. I like all of you. So, now we're inside. Oh, this is the observatory. Right, we have been here before then, I guess. Except now, up in the observatory, we are all here to honour the Symbolism Bison. Hello, Symbolism Bison. I want to give you a hug. You better not be about to do anything bad to the Symbolism Bison. I really like the Symbolism Bison. He's my favourite character. No! No, you don't! Symbolism Bison, fight back! That's right, defend the Symbolism Bison! Defend him! You've got horns! Gore them all! And no one else seems particularly keen on killing the Symbolism Bison, and now I'm now I'm doing a model ship. Okay, so this is this is definitely in Virginia, but why am I not in my cell anymore? Or was I just deliberately thrown in the cell to see if she'd maybe confess something to me? Or, or something, and can I just grab one of these shotguns and start shooting up the place? Because I know that's not the most sensible thing in the world to do, but the bare minimum, at least I'd know what was bloody going on. No, I think she's not there either. I can't, I can't see her in the bed, so I don't know where Maria Halperin is. Hello? Can, can someone just explain what's happening? I'm just going to play with your little toy model ship. Hopefully that'll get your attention. Yep, that's right. Oh, I've broken your ship. You are not going to be happy with me, are you? Oh, he's not. Okay, get, get to the shotgun before he gets to the shotgun. Because Hartley Taft is really annoyed. And I guess we just walk towards the glowing majesty of the four courts. And, and hope Symbolism Bison comes along, for he is my friend. I'm trying to make a break for it. See if I can just get out on the open road and escape from this very silly little dream place. But sadly, there's no way to get onto the open road. There's a massive invisible wall right here. Wait a second. There's somebody inside the photo thing. Right, that's presumably where I'm going, right? And it's it's the guy who wants to be the king of the Netherlands. And 
here you are. Yep, you're very sad about what you did. And now I'm now I'm here and oh god, I, you know what? I'm just gonna cut forward to when something that makes sense happens. I've got a baby. And now I'm having dinner with the assistant director's secretary. Yep, one pee at a time. Now I'm stroking the assistant director's head in his office. And and now I'm stroking... I don't know, whoever that was. I can't even remember who that was. Ah, okay. So yeah, that's the woman he had an affair with. Fine. He had an affair with that woman. That's That makes sense at least. And he was arrested for that, which strikes me as a little bit unfair. Which would make either her or him the likely candidates for the boy disappearing, because they didn't want their secret to be revealed. Yeah, prime suspects. Oh no! The symbolism bison. I did not save him. I tried, damn it. Symbolism bison, I can't do all of this by myself. Alright, you needed to defend yourself. You needed to want to live. And now back to where we began. Lipstick. Oh, we might have reached something that's actually close to an actual bit of reality in the end. There's beeping. And that's the beeping we heard in the background when I was originally handed my badge. And there's the guy here who would appear to be, I'm guessing, my father, who is a police officer, and I'm his daughter and I'd like to become an FBI agent. And these are his final moments by the looks of things. And I became an FBI agent just in time for him to know that I did which he's happy about. Okay. And then I'm guessing he's about to... Ah! And that's the key I've been carrying around this whole time. But I don't know what it does. Oh! He, it, it's that door over there. Open the... Oh, not the red cupboard. There's really silly things behind the red cupboard, alright? So what did my father want me to have... And is it going to, in some way, sensibly contextualise this entire mess? And, ah! That's why I've got the key handle, because it broke in the lock the moment I opened it. So, every time I've been holding that, it's because I... Okay! Was that the secret stuff he needed me to burn to get rid of? Is that what's going on here? Like, that's why I had the nightmare about the papers strewn around this, because my father, his dying wish was that I burnt a bunch of secret papers he had. Well, I need to know what's in them. No, I want to know what's in them first. Hang on, open them up. You're about to burn them anyway. You may as well know what they are. Yep, lovely. In it goes. And don't, don't toss it in. I need to know what it is. I need closure even if you bloody don't. No, nope, never mind. We just tossed it in anyway. Fine. And it turns out it was aliens all along. Possibly. Oh no, I'm back I'm back down here where I found the thing. And by any chance I'm just about to find the kid. Because I feel like none of us are paying enough attention to the kid. Instead, we're just spending a lot of time on the symbolism. Now is this possibly the Oh, it's the aliens! Oh, they're coming down! They abducted him! It, oh god, was it actually the aliens all along? Because he was interested in aliens and there was a picture of a UFO abducting someone in his notebook. Are we actually seriously saying that he was abducted by aliens? That's the solution to the FBI racism something something. That the aliens abducted him. Seriously? Is that what happened? Who even is that? I can't tell because the characters all at the bloody same. So someone just showed up and took him away. Maybe his mother. Who knows? But the aliens took him. We'll just put that into the FBI report. Oh, I've followed him into Mothership Zeta. And and it's too late because now he's, he's wandered off into the forest. Or someone did. Or something. Anyway, that's what caused this little grass circle here. It was the aliens. That's the only rational explanation for all of this. It was aliens. I'm just going to drink some coffee. That's fine. You're supposed to be in prison. How did you get out of prison? What were you even in prison for in the first place? I don't know what your crime was, or my crime was, or if there even was a crime, or if it was all entrapment. But maybe that key taught me a valuable lesson, that you can't destroy evidence. And now she's... What day is it? Is it still Saturday? <laughs> Christ, it was Saturday ages ago, which was clearly labelled as the final day. Then my brain just flipping lost it, and now I have no clue. 
No, don't stop at the petrol station. The petrol station is a silly place. Instead, we should go to... Are we leaving town? I think we're leaving town. We just went through the rock tunnel. If it's the... If we went by the petrol station and then out of the rock tunnel, then... Oh. Did it turn out, in fact, the boy just literally... No, don't stop! We just found him! I mean, okay, possibly he was running away and, like, you know, that was a good idea because he wanted to be a musician, but we could probably give him a lift. I'm guessing that, like, you know, America's quite big. It's probably not safe to potentially walk around at night between major cities next to forests. That feels like he is going to be killed by wolves. I feel like we should have stopped and in some way intervened. And also, as FBI agents, even if we feel like it might be the best thing for him, though I'm not sure we have any evidence whatsoever his home was abusive, it might have been a bit strict and religious, but I'm not sure we saw any evidence it was abusive. I'm not sure we're allowed to just say, ah, you know what, he'll be better on his own in the wild with a guitar. That'll be fine. I'm not sure we can do that, but apparently we did that anyway, because I, I, bloody, I've no clue. I've literally no clue what part of that was true or false or symbolism or real. I mean, was that bit at the end supposed to indicate, hey, we made up a story about aliens to cover up the fact that he just ran away? Because if we did, that's the stupidest cover-up imaginable because no one's going to accept that. If we wanted to make something up, then we should actually have just made up he was kidnapped by someone because at least that's believable. Aliens isn't believable because aliens aren't real. Or possibly they're real, but they're probably not real in the sense of flying saucers that come and abduct people. Maybe the letter from the creators will in some way make sense of any of this nonsense. Just gonna skip down to the bottom there. It's been a strange and confounding experience making Virginia. We hope it results in a strange and confounding game. Well, 10 out of 10 if that was your objective. Sure, absolutely. So in conclusion, Virginia is kind of Firewatch crossed with Deadly Premonition, but nowhere near as good as either, because there's no actual game here. It's a very poor movie, or a very poor game, or maybe a very poor both of them. I don't know. I can't judge it as a game because there's no gameplay here, and I can't judge it as a film because I've literally no idea what actually happened in it because no one had any personality or arc or story or conclusion. It's just a, a bunch of pretty stuff that happened. I might as well have just held a kaleidoscope up to my eye for two hours, really. So, yes, Virginia is not for me. I don't understand it. I don't get it. And like, I don't think I really missed anything because there's nothing to miss because it's possibly the most linear game I've ever played. So yes, that's Virginia. It's deeply confusing. I don't understand it and I have no idea what the bloody hell's going on. So you know what, just occasionally when they make these narrative heavy games, they're not actually very good. I mean, if it was like a comedy, if this had been a parody, of, like, over-serious artistic games. That would have been great, but I feel like it wasn't. I think it just wanted to be an artistic game, and on that basis, not very good. So anyway, that's Virginia. Hopefully the next narrative game we do will be better than that anyway, or at least more comprehensible. And in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been the deeply baffling Virginia. Thank you very much, and goodbye. <laughs> My milk gave me a sign, and it said tomorrow you will do something that will change your fate. Is my character simultaneously using a phone, using a laptop, smoking and driving in a rainstorm? Hello headquarters, I've got a problem. Yes, yes, it's the milk again. Sorry, what were you saying? I was looking at this biscuit. You know what, mate? I'm confused too.